We talked about mens menstrual cycles at when we're maturely um, having periods. When you have cramps, that means you're fertile. You usually don't have cramps on the pill. And that you ha are making progesterone. So that's a, a, that's a reassurance sign. Now, what factors interfere with our hormone balance when we're cycling? Stress. I guess there's no stress in anybody under 40, right? I mean, kids and, and new marriages and, and all kinds of really busy stuff that you have to do. You have to take care of everybody, your parents, your children. I mean, it's really, it's really a big job. So that, that affects it. You can go through the rest of these, but if, you're, if your thyroid's off, that's a, whole different, that's a whole different system, but they all interact like those um, kind of like a, a clock, the inside of a clock where, of course, we don't have those anymore, kind of digital stuff. But on the inside of the clock, we used to have cogs, and, and the cogs would each stimulate each other. So we have interaction between our thyroid hormones. Your thyroid's right here. If you have a big thyroid, you have a goiter, and you need to have it checked. But our, that controls our ovaries, believe it or not. And so it makes a hormone that makes us have normal, normal cycles. So that's one of the ways... Then we can, if we have excessive exercise, you know people who just exercise all the time, they get really, really skinny and they stop having cycles. That's like anorexia. You don't have any estrogen. You can break your bones. And excess, we were meant to be moderate women, moderate people, not too much of anything, not too much food, not too much exercise. So anorexia is starvation. We don't want that. That was something that was more prominent, I think, maybe, when, when uh, Patsy and I were kids. Everybody wanted to be Twiggy. It's not good. Yeah. It's really not good. 